This is it. Adrian Newey's parting gift to the Red Bull family and enthusiasts everywhere is here. Unbound by typical regulations and budgetary constraints, the RB17 hypercar has debuted at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. The RB17 features a classic two-seater hypercar design with a carbon fibre monocoque chassis and a mid-mounted, naturally aspirated V10 engine, redlining at 15,000 RPM and producing over 1,200 brake horsepower. 1,000 horsepower from the V10, uh, 250 horsepower from the electric motor, so a combined output of around 1,250. Uh, in its lightest form, 875 kilos, um, ready to go. Its downforce to drag ratio is kind of up around the 16, 17 mark, which in the low speed, which then puts it up into aircraft territory, which has never been achieved before in motor racing. Red Bull Advanced Technologies oversaw the entire process from concept to customer delivery, with only 50 units available for sale. One of the reasons for limiting it to 50 cars is that then we can use exactly the same manufacturing techniques, um, use in manufacture internally or where we don't manufacture internally, use the same suppliers as we use in Formula One, and then indeed assemble the cars in exactly the same way as we assemble the Formula One cars. So the whole thing is, is very much Formula One working practices applied to something that's available for sale. Looking ahead, could we see a version of this car at Le Mans? Well, it seems unlikely, but Aston Martin is bringing a WEC legal version of its newly designed Valkyrie to Le Mans in 2025, so anything's possible. Interestingly though, like the Valkyrie, a race version of the RB17 would need to be significantly slowed down. I wonder how much they'd give me as a trade-in on a 2009 Hyundai Getz.